Corinne Houle, uh, Liz Blum, and I had the students uh, in, as a culminating project for their statistics unit participate in the American Statistical Association poster project. So it's a data visualization project. They were tasked to come up with a topic that they wanted to find data on. They could either get data that they found off the internet or data they collected themselves. So they went through this whole process and we actually had three students win this year, which is great. Uh, Alvin Herman's won in the past and participated at the senior level. Uh, so we had three students win this year, three groups of students win this year. And we're pretty excited because they all did a really good job on um, and worked hard on their projects. Who has a higher risk of injury, skiers or snowboarders? And we did this, uh, we chose this topic because we both ski or snowboard. I'm a snowboarder, you're a skier, right? Yeah. Okay, so you want to give me information on sort of... Um, well, for this project, we decided to research snow sports, and which are the most dangerous. So we sent out surveys to students and just people at Chicago. We did some research to see which one was actually statistically more dangerous, and there were a lot of variables, but we'll discuss that in a little bit. But we wanted to see what um, what people, like what students and staff would think about um, which one would actually be more dangerous. <clears throat> and so um, we chose, we wanted to see uh, if we had like previous skiers or snowboarders or people that are, you know, have experience already, their gender, it was pretty even in the gender and um, like have you been injured so are you biased like we wanted to get some biases out of the way and um, you want to like you can go to the conclusion a little bit if you would like. Um, so our audience believe that snowboarding is more dangerous than skiing and um, there was an opinion that 65% of our audience like that was the opinion of 65%. And 33% um, of the survey takers were skiers, so there could be some bias. And um, like upon, like when we were researching, we had trouble defining like what is an injury, like a sustainable injury where you hurt yourself once, like you, you broke your knee. And then another thing would be over a long period of time, maybe your knees started to, um, you know, get tired and now you're injured because of it. Like, so those were some of the various variables we had to take into account. And one of the most interesting things I found was that um, that you're, you have a higher rate of injury snowboarding, but you're more likely to die skiing. Like that was one of the, yeah, that, that sort of confused me a little bit. But so technically s snowboarders do have a higher risk of injury, but yes, skiers are in danger. <laughs> As a teacher, I really like to offer students the perspective that math is something that they can do beyond high school or look at how math is related to topics that interest them. So participating in this kind of project, I think, is a, a great way for students to investigate things that, that they're interested in. And we're working at looking to expand it to include even more of the middle school students next year. I've been working with Charlene Barksdale to try to expand it into the younger grades as well. Um, but I think it's something that Chapag Valley Schools can really dig into and, and participate because uh, it really showcases what our students can do.